Hello, welcome to this security briefing on Christina de Kirchner. Make any notes that you feel are necessary, and if you have any questions, please save them until the end. Cristina de Kirchner, the former president of Argentina, has been the subject of intense scrutiny regarding her security. As a high-profile public figure and a controversial figure in Argentine politics, ensuring her safety has been a top priority for authorities. There are several factors that contribute to why Cristina de Kirchner has been a target for security threats and attacks. Firstly, de Kirchner has been a highly influential and controversial figure in Argentine politics. She served as president of Argentina from 2007 to 2015, during which time she pursued a populist and left-leaning agenda that polarized the country's political landscape. Her policies and leadership style earned her both ardent supporters and fierce critics, leading to a highly charged and sometimes volatile political environment. Secondly, de Kirchner has also been associated with numerous corruption scandals. During her time in office, several high-profile corruption cases involving her administration came to light, which fueled public anger and mistrust towards her and her government. These scandals have made her a target for criticism and have contributed to her unpopularity among certain segments of the Argentine society. Thirdly, Cristina de Kirchner's prominent public profile and status as a former president make her an attractive target for those seeking to make a political statement or gain media attention. The potential impact of an attack on such a high-profile figure is significant and can have serious consequences for national security and stability. And finally, the political and social climate in Argentina is often charged and polarized with deep divisions and animosity between opposing groups. This environment can fuel acts of violence and aggression towards public figures, including politicians like Cristina de Kirchner. Throughout her career, de Kirchner has faced numerous security threats. During her time as president, she survived a bomb attack on her apartment building in Buenos Aires, which left one person dead and several injured. However, the most significant assassination attempt against her occurred in 2018. In that year, a car bomb was discovered near her home in Patagonia. The device had been placed under a nearby bridge and was set to detonate as de Kirchner's motorcade passed by on the way to a local airport. Authorities managed to defuse the bomb before it could be triggered and several suspects were later arrested. The failed assassination attempt sent shockwaves through Argentina as it highlighted the ongoing security risks faced by high-profile public figures in the country. The Argentine government responded by increasing security measures for de Kirchner, including assigning a large team of federal police officers to accompany her whenever she travels outside of her home or office. In addition to the physical security measures, there are also extensive surveillance systems in place to monitor potential threats to de Kirchner's safety. Her home and office are equipped with sophisticated security systems, including cameras, alarms and other high-tech measures to detect and deter intruders. Despite the heightened security measures, there have been occasional lapses into Kirchner's safety. In 2020, a man broke into her home in Patagonia and stole several valuable items, including jewellery and documents. The intruder was later apprehended, but the incident highlighted the ongoing security challenges faced by de Kirchner and other public figures in Argentina. The closest anyone has got to ending Christina de Kirchner's life can be seen in the following clip, and highlights the importance of close protection. Unaware of the danger, the vice president speaks to supporters, then sees a gun in her face. The trigger is pulled and she recoils, a gun loaded with five bullets. Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner was greeting supporters outside her home in Buenos Aires. An assassination attempt, says the current president. Let's break down what happened in the clip. Here you can see the principal is very close to the crowd. There is literally nothing between her and the potential gunman. The CPO highlighted by this arrow is walking backwards and not scanning the crowd, whilst this one has turned away and is walking away from the principal. At this point, the CPO who was walking backwards has now returned, but it would have been too late, and this contingent of rapid response people are also too few and too late.
Overall, the security of de Kirchner remains a top priority for the Argentine government, given her status as a prominent public figure and a history of facing security threats. Despite the challenges, authorities continue to work tirelessly to ensure her safety and the safety of those around her.